what's up guys it's kristen welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for tuning in um excuse the way i look i know i'm looking a little rough but i'm on like this little fitness journey so after this i'm actually going to the gym i've been going to i've been working out every day for the past like two weeks so um yeah so if it looks like i don't care because i kind of don't i really don't but um yeah happy sunday you guys already know where i am i'm at my weekly spot which is walgreens so before i jump in and go inside and do my deals pick up some great deals for this week um let's go over a few things so if you guys have been watching me any amount of time you guys already know what i'm gonna say and that is about coupons clipping your coupons printing your coupons whatever getting a habit on sundays we get new digital coupons so at the stores you shop at whether that's walgreens cvs dollar general family dollar whatever get in a habit that on sundays you are checking those accounts and clipping those coupons especially those high value coupons or whatever because a lot of the times they will disappear and then not only that what i've learned is that stores will usually give you coupons in preparation for future deals like for next week or the week after but if it's not clipped like they'll take it right before that week start which sucks but it is what it is so get in the habit of doing that um, that way you can always be maximizing your savings um, at these stores. Um, coupons.com, paper inserts. I don't know if we got paper inserts this week, but if we did, do a preview before you actually get some. Um, and then since we're at Walgreens, let's talk about boosters. Since it's a new month, we received weekly new weekly boosters as well as new monthly boosters. The monthly boosters are the ones where it's like, make X amount of purchases, spend in X amount of money, and you will receive x amount of walgreens cash back on that last purchase um clip those because even if it seems like a lot um sometimes you just never know we may have a week where it's like a fire week and we're making more purchases and it doesn't seem like we're spending we're doing like we're actually reaching that goal but we are um so it's always a little plus if you can receive extra more like more walgreens cash for doing the purchases that you were going to do anyways so get in the habit of clipping those monthly boosters. For this week, I did get a spend booster for spend 50, get back $12 in Walgreens cash. Now those spend 40 and spend $50 boosters, a lot of us are not fan of, like, fans of those boosters because typically you have to spend a lot of money out of pocket, well, more money out of pocket than you would like to. For me, I don't, I'm okay with it only because of the fact that I know that that first transaction is going to pay for two more transactions after the fact. So I'm okay. Um, but I'm basically winging it today because everything i was trying to put together online it said my store was out of stock but you guys know that the inventory be lying sometimes so we're gonna see but yeah um if you're not already subscribed please consider subscribing joining the family as well as giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribe well i already said that right consider subscribing giving this video a thumbs up and then if you have any questions or concerns don't hesitate to drop them down below and as always sharing is caring so if you see some deals or something in this video worth doing or you feel like it's beneficial to anyone you may know share it out to that person and let them get on this money train as well for saving and stretching those coins that's all i have in the intro it's actually already kind of long but let's head inside and do my deal my deals for the week of july 2nd through the 8th yeah let's get inside all right you guys so we are in the store and even though i'm kind of winging it today i feel i don't know we'll see but i, I do feel like today is going to be a good day regardless so you guys know like i said i'm using that spin booster for spend 50 get back 12. now to maximize my savings i'm going to try to fit as many deals as i can into this first transaction to receive as much walgreens cash and rewards back since it's already going to be a higher out of pocket so alongside with my booster i did receive another booster for hair care for spend five get back ten dollars in walgreens cash so i'm going to pair it in with this deals of the week for the pantene where they're on a promotion buy three get back a five dollar reward now there are a lot of different promote uh, deals in a part of this promotion remember for deals of the week they need to be done separately if you want to receive the rewards from each deal so i'm going to pick up three of the ones priced at five dollars that's going to total out to 15 and i'm going to clip my five off a of three digital coupon that's going to leave me to pay $10 getting back the $5 ratio worth for buying three as well as $10 in Walgreens cash, making this not only free, but a $5 moneymaker. Remember, it's going to be even better since I am throwing it into my booster for spend 50, get back 12. The next promotion I'm throwing into this transaction is this PNG promotion where you spend $20 on select uh, products, you will receive um, a $5 ratio worth. So you can see different products that are included into the promotion. So take a screenshot or whatever you need to. So what I'm going to do, I am going to pick up one of 
the four equals eight for the bounty still on sale for $8.99 and on this account I still have a five dollar digital coupon so let me pick this up and put it in my cart and then to get me to my $20 mark I'm gonna also be picking up the Charmin ultra um, soft toilet paper the 12 equals 48 it is regular price at $16.99 and I have an eight dollar digital coupon so let me pick this up and put it in my cart so these two products will total out to $25.98. Now, even though Charmin wasn't stated on the tag, I did see people last week getting that $5 reshore when they picked up Bounty and Charmin, I think. So it should still print. Um, so $25.98, we have $13 in digital coupons, which will drop it down to $12.98, getting back that $5 reshore. Makes the final cost $7.98 for both or just $3.99 each, which is amazing when the 12 count is regular price at $17. So let me put these into my cart. Next, I'm going to pick up some Gain Easy Squeeze. We don't get deals on these, so I'm actually pretty excited about it. But this week, they are on sale for $1.99. And when you buy two, you will get back a dollar reward. We also have a dollar off of two digital. So you will pay $2.98, get back a dollar reward. Makes the final cost $1.98 for the two or just 99 cents each. So let me pick up two and put them in my cart. And then here's just an easy filler item. I'm going to pick up these um, Oral-B Glide Floss Picks. They're on sale for $3.99 and I have an only for you $3.50 digital, making these just $0.49. Cents. So let me put this in my cart. And I'm a little shy of hitting my $50 amount. So I'm just going to pick up this Walgreens toilet paper. The four count mega row is back on sale where they are just $1.99. So I'm going to put this in my cart and then go over this transaction. All right, y'all. So here's everything for my first transaction, which will total out to $50.94 which is perfect because remember I have that digital booster from when you spend $50, you'll get back $12 of Walgreens cash that I'm also gonna pair in with this paper booster for spend 40, get back 10. Um, yes, it expired yesterday, but you can use spend boosters for a day past expiration date, not rush rewards, but um, spend boosters are good to go. And then remember you can combine paper and digital spend boosters as long as you reach the higher threshold. So for me, it's 50 and I'm at 50. Now, also, these deals, if you were just doing these deals individually, all these deals, you can use Walgreens cash to pay, except since I am throwing it into my spin boosters and all that stuff, that's why I'm not. So after my digitals, it's going to drop me down to $28.44. I'm going to pay that out of pocket, but now I'm going to get back a total of $32 in Walgreens cash, $12 for the spin booster, $10 for the spin booster, and then $10 for hair care, as well as two $5 rush rewards and a dollar rush reward. That's a total of $43 I'm getting back after spending $28.44 making this not only free, but a $14.56 moneymaker. So I'm going to head up to the register, check out, and then I'll be back um, to debrief my receipts and all that stuff like that. So just stay tuned, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So here's this receipt. Let's talk about it. Um, for the most part, everything went exactly where it was supposed to. I did have one hiccup, and I blame myself, um, but we're going to talk about it. So as far as pricing, everything did ring up exactly where it was supposed to. No hiccups at all with pricing. Same thing for my coupons, they all came off. So you can see my paper booster for spend 40, um, as well as all of my digital boosters. That dropped my subtotal down to 28.44 like we planned. So all of that was good. Now at the bottom of this receipt, for whatever reason, it didn't show the Walgreens cash that I got back. But you guys know it doesn't take much. All you gotta do is log in on your account on the app and it will show you how much Walgreens cash you got back from the transaction. So I did, and I got back a total of $33 back in Walgreens cash. We were expecting 32, so I'm not sure where the other dollar came from, but I'm not complaining at all. So I did get back all of my Walgreens cash um, that I was planning from both of those boosters as well as the booster for hair care. And then as far as my rest reward goes, you can see my $5 rest reward for the Pantene and my dollar rest reward for um, the gain. What you don't see is the spend 20 um, for the rest reward for the spend 20 on PNG. So I take accountability for that because I'm guessing that Charmin was not a part of it. So don't pick up Charmin if you're trying to do the deal. So it still came out to a moneymaker. It was just a $9 moneymaker, but nah, <sighs> I wanted those $5. But let's do some more transactions using these rewards. So for my next transaction, we're gonna pick up some laundry care products. Um, so Tide and Downy, they're back on that promotion where they are $5.49 on sale. And when you buy four, you will get back a $5 reward. We also have a dollar digital coupons for the products. Um, so we have a dollar for the Tide Pies. We have a dollar coupon for the Tide Liquid. We also have a dollar coupons for um, Downy as well as Bounce. 
So I'm gonna pick up one of each of the products and put them in my cart and then I'm gonna go over the numbers for this particular deal. So these four products will total out to $21.96 and we have four $1 digital coupons. That will drop it down to $17.96, getting back a $5 reassure. Makes the final cost $12.96 for the four or just $3.24 each. Now, yes, this is a deal you can use Walgreens cash to pay since you're getting back a risk reward. Um, so not bad, $3.24 each. Now, something that just kind of dawned on me is that the fact that, remember that I'm, I want to try again doing that spend deal for the PNG promotion. Remember, Tide is also included. So I think what I'm going to do is just get all, do this deal, but pick up only Tide um, and see if I will also get back that $5 risk reward for the PNG. Now, if I don't, then it will make this final cost $2 more. But if it does, this deal became cheaper. So let me switch my products out. Um, yeah, we, we're definitely going to try to do this because they're two different promotions. So both should print. So yeah, we're going to do that. All right, you guys. So here's that transaction. I just switched out those two products for more liquid detergent. So you can see four products. It still was $21.96. And I threw in that dollar reward from the first transaction just to kind of help me with the out of pocket. So including tax, it did knock me over $20. So I did use $20 in Walgreens cash. And then as far as my rest rewards, guys, them both of them things printed, really excited. So I got back my $5 for buying four products, as well as my $5 for spending 20 on PNG. Makes the final cost $9.96 for the four or just $2.49 each. So really excited about that, guys. Take advantage of this deal this week um, because that's pretty fire. I'm not even going to lie. So for this next transaction, I want to take advantage of that PNG promotion again. Yes, you can take advantage of that promotion as many times as you like. Just make sure they are in separate transactions. This time I'm picking up some Febreze, Dawn, and some more Tide. Again, they are all part of that promotion. So first I'm going to pick up two of these Febreze air sprays. Um, on sale for $3.29 this week and we do have a $3.30 off of two digital. So it makes them what $3.28 or like $1.64 each. Now this is my favorite scent. I love the downy scent Febreze. So I'm going to pick up one of these and I'm going to pick up another product and then put both of them into my cart. The Dawn dish liquid is on sale for $1.24. When you buy two, you get back a dollar rich reward. It is a part of that same promotion as the Gain Easy Squeeze. So if you want to take advantage of both of them, just make sure they are done in separate transactions. So I'm going to pick up two. That's going to total out to $2.48 and then get back that dollar rich reward. Makes them $1.48 or $0.74 cents each. And then to get me to my $20 amount, I'm going to pick up some Tide Simply. Now, this week, Tide Simply and Downy are on that promotion again where they are well, on sale four for nine. So let me show you what's included. It makes them $2.25 each. No coupons needed. And you can use Walgreens Cash or Rest Rewards to pay for these items. It doesn't matter. But since I'm doing the PNG promotion, Tide is included. So I'm going to stick with Tide. Now, I'm going to pick up a total of five of them. So even though at four for nine, that makes them $2.25 each, any more after that, they're still going to be $2.25 each. So I'm going to pick up five of them. All of them are going to be $2.25. So just in case you didn't know, at Walgreens, if they have a sale where whatever, they have something on sale, if you pick up more than what the sale item is, those other ones are still going to be for that sale price. So let me pick up five and put them in my cart. All right, guys. So here is just another example of the promotion you can do. Um, another deal, you know, taking advantage of that promotion. Remember, Febreze, Tide, as well as Dawn are all part of that promotion. So before coupons, the total comes out to 2031. We only have one digital. So that will drop it down to 1701. You're going to get back a $5 reward as well as a dollar reward for the Dawn, making the final cost 1101 for these nine items, which is pretty good. And yes, you can use Walgreens cash or any rewards. You can throw them into the mix to help lure your out of pocket. Now I'm going to throw in one more deal um, into this transaction. So let me just go over there, get that item, and then go give you the rundown of how this transaction is going to be. So stay tuned. So that last deal is going to be on some oral care. I'm going to pick up these two Oral-B toothbrushes. So there's a promotion where Oral-B and Crest are on sale. Buy two, get back a $4 rich reward. So picking up the cheaper products at $3. We do have a two off of two coupon for Oral-B. So to drop down to $4, getting back a $4 rich reward makes them free. Now, if you don't want two toothbrushes or if you can't find a coupon, there's also $1 coupons on the toothbrush, on the Crest, on the Oral-B floss pick. So it really just depends on what you have in your coupon folder. Just like this Oral-B floss sticks are $4, a part of that same promotion. And there's a two off of two coupon for that. So it just really depends on what you need. But I'm gonna go with the cheaper and free items, picking up these toothbrushes right here. 
So this transaction with the Oral-B is going to total out to 2631. After those two digital coupons, it will drop down to 2101. I'm getting back a $5 reward, a $4 reward, as well as a dollar reward, um, which is a total of $10 you're getting back after spending 21. Making the final cost um, 1101 for 11 items. And remember, yes, you can use Walgreens cash to pay. So say if you want to do this deal and you have $20 in Walgreens cash, you could use $20 and then just pay the 101 plus tax out of your own pocket, still receiving those risk rewards. So for me, I'm also, I'm going to throw in these two $5 risk rewards from my previous transactions, um, which is going to drop me down to 1101 and then just use $10 of Walgreens cash from that first transaction, leaving me to pay the 101 plus tax out of pocket. So let me head up to the register and then I'll be back with the receipt. All right, guys, so here is that receipt. And OMG, I made another mistake. What the crap? Um, we're going to talk about it as always. So as far as pricing, everything went the way it was supposed to, except for the Don, the Downy Febreze. It was not on sale for $3.29. It was $1.20 more. So they did make my total $1.20 more. But you can see all of my rewards and everything that I said. Um, so it dropped down to $12.21 instead of the $101. But I still use $10 in Walgreens Cash. And then I did get back um, all three of my rest rewards. So for spending $20 in PNG, the Dawn, as well as um, the Oral-B. So instead of it being $11, it made it $12, but still not bad. So just make sure you don't pick up the Downy. All the other ones um, for the Febreze were $3.29. I should have paid attention, but I didn't. All right, you guys. So here is a recap of my haul for today. Um, usually I would just keep going until I use all my rest rewards, just so I can show you how far you could actually stretch um your money with the rewards rolling them and all of that but honestly guys i'm ready to go i've been in here a little longer than i wanted to so it's time to wrap it up so i'm still gonna talk about final numbers in all of that so let's get into it so out of pocket i did spend 30 dollars and 65 cents out of pocket with 28.44 being in the very first transaction so i barely spent anything in my last two transactions so 30.65, and then I still have these rewards right here, the rest rewards that I didn't even use. So that's a total of $15 in rest rewards, as well as I still have $3 in Walgreens cash on my account. Remember the first transaction, I got back $33. I used $20 in transaction two, and then I used $10 in transaction three. So that leaves me with $3. So spending 30.65, getting back the $15 in rest rewards and $3 in Walgreens cash, it makes the final cost for this $12.65 which is fantastic if you ask me i'm not even gonna lie so i guess i'll use these rest rewards in either next week deal or maybe i may come back later in the week haven't really decided but let me know which one is your favorite deal let me know if you're going to take advantage of any of these deals and make sure you are subscribed to the channel guys we are growing make sure you like comment subscribe if you have any questions definitely comment down below and until next time i'll see you in the next one bye